Okay, so in this video, we're gonna have a look at the new card saving features in Breeze FX. This is a really fun idea that allows you to take images captured at the photo booth and turn them into quite realistic cartoons. So there's a whole bunch of different styles. They're all sort of Japanese, Chinese inspired cartoon styles. So you will see a bit of that coming through, but there's quite a few options to choose from and each one has its own sort of look. But let's jump into FX and see how it works and what options we have. So we'll create a new FX config We'll give it a name, we'll just call it Cartoon Style, and we'll just select Cartoon from the drop down menu here. So you'll see there's a sub menu with all the different types of cartoon pictures, each styles you can choose from. So we have Vintage, 3D, 2D, Elegant, Future Chinese, Battle, Colorful, and Graceful. Now some of these are quite abstract, and the end result might be quite different to your original image, whereas the Vintage, 3D, and 2D tend to be a lot more realistic in terms of the output, but we'll run through them so you can get a bit of an idea of how each one works. So we'll start with Vintage, which I think is probably the best or certainly my favorite one. So we'll just create that and we'll go ahead and copy that URL and we'll come into DSLR Remote Pro, File, down to Photo Booth uh, Settings, uh, into our Output Settings, Post Process, and enable that if you don't already. Uh, and we'll uh, make sure we're on web-based and paste our URL in here. Now this will of course work on the iPad app as well um, uh, and works obviously in DSLR Pro, which we're gonna show here in this demo. Uh, make sure you've got your password in, which uh, comes from your Breeze FX account. So we've got that set, we'll okay that. And let's run a session through and see what we get. So this is the vintage style. All right, so these cartoon effects take uh, probably around 15 to 20 seconds to process, so a little bit longer than some of the other FX styles that we have, but there's a bit more going on behind the scenes, but I think the results are really worth it. Okay, so there we go, the results. So I think this is uh, looks fantastic to me. So it's picked up um, in the background here, I've got this, this, this plant and it's incorporated that. It's also taken a bit of liberty and it's added another plant on the right, right of screen, uh, the right of the image as, as well. But that looks, I think, a lot like me and I think that's a fantastic cartoon representation of this scene. So let's jump out of that. We'll go back into FX and we'll change that to the next one, which I think is 3D. Yep, so we'll go to the 3D one. We'll just update that. Now you could of course create a whole new FX config if you want a dedicated 3D config for that, but I'm just going to edit the existing one so we don't have to keep on updating Breeze each time we go through these. So let's take another shot this time with 3D. And just for the sake of expediency, I'll edit these videos just to fly through the processing a bit quicker. Okay, so there we go. That's the 3D style. It's got that uh, Pixar animation type look to it. The uh, AI always struggles a little bit with fingers and limbs, but um, this actually does really quite a good job with fingers and limbs. I think it looks a lot like me. We've got the plants in the background as well. So I think that's a pretty great result. Definitely one of the more realistic of the options. Okay, so let's jump back out and we'll come into our FX config. We'll edit that and we'll go to the next one. So this time we have 2D. This one is actually quite similar, I think, to the vintage one. Maybe a little bit different stylistically, but it's the same sort of concept. So we'll go ahead and run this one. Okay, so there we go. So that's the result. It's quite similar to that vintage one. Maybe just artistically slightly different. I think it looks really great though. All right, so that one's done. We'll jump out, we'll come in and go to the next one. Let's have a look, what have we got? All right, Elegant. This is another, I think, one that's a little bit similar to uh, the Vintage and the 2D one. We'll run it through, have a look. Okay, so there we go, that's the result. So yeah, it's another sort of quite realistic effect. It's similar to the vintage or the 2D type one, but just artistically just a little bit different. All right, so let's jump out of that one and we'll continue on. All right, we'll go into future. So this one is definitely quite different. 
Now, I should mention, if I didn't already, that these will work on multiple people. So if you have group shots, it'll definitely apply the effect to everyone in the, in the photo. Okay, so let's go ahead. We've got the future one. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, there's a lot more abstract. It looks not as much like me, but it is holding the general pose that I'm doing. So in the next one, that's a bit more abstract as well. I will, I'll pose a bit more dramatically just so you can see a shift in the position of my arms and you'll see how that's reflected in the image, but it's not the strongest resemblance to, to my face. It's pulling in quite heavily from this particular style of cartoon, but I still think it looks uh, quite good. All right, so we'll go and edit this one and we'll go to Chinese. So this is like a traditional Chinese style cartoon. Okay, we'll run that and I'll try and do something with my arms and see how this reflects. Okay, so once again, uh, a lot more abstract. Uh, you can see it's changed the, the background quite heavily. It has incorporated this tree into the scene in an artistic way. Uh, resemblance to my face is a lot less, but you can see that it has picked up that sort of hand movement um, that, I, that I was doing. Okay, let's keep on going. Got a few more to get through. We'll edit that one and we'll change this to battle. So this is like a, I think like a Chinese battle or a Japanese battle type scene, traditional. Uh, again, I'll do something a bit more dramatic with my hands. I'll actually, I've got, a, got this little container here. I'll, we'll incorporate this into the, the scene and see what it does. It might try and turn it into a shield or some sort of weapon or something, but we'll see what happens. There we go. So uh, once again, quite abstract. Resemblance is not as strong in my face. Um, but it has picked up my hand actions, and as I thought it might, it's taken this uh, container that I was holding and tried to turn it into some sort of um, weapon or something that incorporates into the scene. So that is the interesting thing about this, that it will run with what it sees in the picture and try and incorporate it into the, into the scene. Moving along. I think we're getting close, close to the end here. Okay, colourful. Okay, so there's a colorful one. So again, another abstract one. This one likes to bring in lots of crayons and colored pens and pencils, going for that effect. Facial resemblance, not as strong. Definitely will pick up sort of your general body posing as well. Okay, I think we had one more to go through. So I'll just edit this one. And yeah, we've got graceful. All right. So it's the last one here we'll have a look at. Okay, so that's the last one, the graceful one, another abstract one. Resemblance, once again, not as strong. I think these are used in the right context. I think these have a place, but as with a lot of AI related things, I think it's just important to set and manage expectations with your clients when using it. So there we go. That is the cartoon feet, the cartoon features and breeze FX. I think it's a really fun, a fun idea. And there's a lot you can do with it. I think the vintage 2D and 3D type ones are the best options for most use cases, but there's some other abstract ones there that might be fun to play with as well. Have a play around. Love to see what you guys come up with this when using it. Any questions, just jump into the comments and let me know.